The Scalar Project stands for Scale Consumers and Lotic Ecosystem Rates. This project is part of an international program looking at nutrient uptake in streams, specifically of ammonium. This particular project also looked at the effects animals in those streams have on the nutrients and how quickly and how much of it is used. In essence, we want to know how the structure of the stream systems, including community or animal structure, affects stream function, like nutrient uptake, and how these will change as the structure changes. We looked at this project on a couple different scales, hence in part the name of the project. Firstly, we looked at specific reaches of streams, which consisted of a control, addition, and depletion reach of each stream, and these reaches were usually 60 to 75 meters in length. The reaches in each stream were separated by nets, which were buried in the stream bed and would ideally prevent the movement of animals between the study areas during the length of the experiment. This project was also run on a smaller scale using exclosures constructed of wooden frames and wire mesh. These were placed strategically throughout each of the study reaches and were filled with baskets of native stream substrates such as rocks. Analysis was later done on those baskets of rocks using plexiglass boxes with water circulating motors to see how algae productivity differed in the areas open to animals versus those that were close to animals. The main animals we worked with in this study included cutthroat trout, Pacific giant salamanders, Pacific sculpin, and tailed frogs. To study the animals we wanted, we first had to collect them using an electroshocker, which sends a weak electrical pulse through the water to stun them and so making them easier and safer to catch and process. Processing consisted essentially of weighing and taking length measurements of each animal to get a rough estimate of total animal biomass in the streams before releasing the animals back in the necessary study area. After the total animal counts were taken, we began performing nutrient injections of salt, ammonium, and propane gas. The main nutrient we wanted to study was the ammonium, but in order to do so, we had to know how fast the water was moving and how long it took to get from the beginning of our reach to the end. The nutrient uptake depends on a couple of things, including the amount of water present and how many organisms or animals there are. This is essentially what collecting and processing the animals and adding in the salts told us. Throughout the course of the nutrient and gas injections, we periodically took water samples as the nutrient levels fluctuated so we could take the data back to the lab to be processed and then compare the differences in stream flow and changes in nutrient levels between the different reaches of the streams, those that had animals versus those that did not. This study is still ongoing with locations being studied in Australia and various forests across the U.S. Special thanks goes out to Alba Argerik and Brooke Penaluna, as well as the rest of the Scaler crew. This project could not have been possible without all your hard work. <laughs>